Greetings people, I come in peace, I really do. What is going on? Was it all a false alarm? You'd think so. By the way, Ryan Garcia is acting. He says he's been cleared. I don't see how. If so, Vada would have lost all integrity. Or was it the New York State Athletic Commission? How are they connected? Anyway, who will trust them and who will use them if all this fanfare proves to be a false alarm? People are saying it's a conspiracy against Ryan. What if it was a conspiracy to make sure Ryan won the fight in the first place? And now to have him cleared? That's if you're throwing conspiracies around. But let's look at it logically. I find it unusual that the New York State Athletic Commission, the NYSAC executive director, has resigned for family reasons. Interestingly, she said at the end of her statement, this is a difficult job that many don't understand. That's an unusual thing to say on your leaving statement, resignation, whatever you want to call it. Was it a resignation or was it early retirement with a nice leaving endowment? Or was it a guilty conscience? Or was it because she did something wrong? Was there too much pressure and scrutiny? It's curious that she makes this decision the day before the news broke that the, the 19 norandrosterone was all of a sudden negative in the second test. Hmm, maybe it's all a coincidence. Garcia's attorney told ESPN that the trace of the other substance, Osterine, was in the billionth of a gram range and didn't provide Ryan with no enhanced benefits on fight night. <laughs> well, you would say that. You're Ryan's lawyer. We don't know the context of the measurable amounts. While that sounds extremely high, it's not about quantity, it's the quality. Any amount in your system is a failed test. It's either you are pregnant or you're not. You can't be a little bit pregnant, can you? By the way this is going, it's like the fix is in. It looks like they are angling to get Ryan off, exonerated. How does the song go? New York, New York, big city of dreams, but everything in New York isn't always what it seems. They don't mess about. These people are thorough. Whew. If Ryan gets off, wrongly or rightly, this is bad for boxing. The main organizations to make sure there's fair play is now called into question. Any boxer who's tested positive can argue their case and if they have money and popularity, they'll be able to play loose and fast with the rules. What a mess. Dishonesty and lack of integrity is hurting the sport. Ryan either tested positive or he didn't. Emotions need to be quelled and the evidence should be looked at objectively. Yes, sometimes we can give the benefit of the doubt, but in this case, somebody could have got seriously injured. Ryan's behavior deserves further scrutiny. You see, Ryan seems to be leading this merry dance. That's enough. And people are twerking their butts off to it. It reminds me of the story of the dancing mania centuries ago. I think it was sometime in the 16th century when a whole village nearly danced themselves to death. One person started dancing, then another copied, then another joined in until there were hundreds of people dancing and couldn't stop. It went on for weeks and some people did sadly die. A kind of mass hysteria. I say that to say this, humans are connected we are networked and that grid that circuitry becomes more stronger the more emotional we get or the more emotion is involved and if you don't use your own alertness and due diligence you'll just go with the flow the tide and accept anything without too many questions amir khan the former world champion boxer was banned from all sport for two years after he was found guilty of having Osterine in his system. Nobody said how much, that's all they needed. Also, former super middleweight world title holder, Lucian Bute, banned and fined $50,000. Russia's Alexander Povetkin, he failed a test for the banned substance Osterine, banned for a year 
and lesser known boxers like Philip Bowes, who was banned from all sport for four years following a first offence of violating the anti-doping rule for having a prohibited substance in a urine sample immediately after he had fought Akeem Ennis Brown for the Commonwealth and British lightweight titles analysis of Mr. Bowles a sample returned an adverse analytical finding for Osterine a selective androgen receptor modulator SAM which is a drug designed to have similar effects to testosterone. Osterine is banned in sport at all times under the World Anti-Doping Agency, WADA. It's on the prohibited list, clear and simple. If there is cross-contamination, then provide the details and the proof. Osterine was found simple. The amount is irrelevant. Did he take it deliberately? Who knows? Is Ryan innocent? I don't think so personally. But that doesn't matter. Will the rules be obeyed and applied like the examples I've just given? That's the question. Because if justifications and politics gets in the way, boxing will be in a quandary, a dilemma, an impasse. I'm blessed, highly favored. Blessed, I'm blessed, highly favored. Yuck. Anyway, thanks for listening, please subscribe if you like, and remember, choose life.